Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a newspaper in Canva. So actually it is very quick and easy, I'll show you how to do that, but you need to watch this video till the end so you won't miss any important steps. So first of all, uh, we need to access canva.com website and log into our account. As you can see, I'm successfully logged in. And now uh, from this main page, we have a couple of options, create a design or search uh, for content. So basically we won't create a newspaper from scratch because it is very difficult. We'll simply go to this search bar and search for a newspaper like this. So simply search for some templates and here you will have available templates for you. And you can uh, see that um, in the corner of some templates you can find little crown with a pro sign. It means this template is only available for pro users of Canva, but I have a default version so we will just make the newspaper for free. And basically you can scroll down and find the newspaper you want. Uh, there are a lot of templates, a lot of different templates you can use. So for example, I will go uh, with um, I will go for example with this template, here it is. So when you choose your template, you need to simply click on it and then go and click on customize this template. It will open a new tab uh, with the workplace where you can actually start editing your template. So first of all, of course, wait a little bit until everything will, will load. And here basically we can start editing. Uh, so we have this page and if we select all the objects, we can see what objects we can uh, customize. So first of all, I'd like to change the uh, background. Uh, the color of background so simply click on the color of uh, this background and then go to click and click on the background color right here you will have this control panel in the left side menu and here you have some solid colors pre-made solid colors or just gradient uh, everything you want uh, for example i will go with uh, this gray light gray color something like that then i can close it and uh, as you can see here is the shape i can also change the color of this shape uh, so it will fit uh, the uh, overall background so now we can change the text of the uh, newspaper so st i'll start with this text of wall 5 it is part of the, or a chapter of this page so i'll just double click on it and choose the uh, part of the text i want to change so for example i'll change it to uh, one because this is the first page and for example website update is not what we need so for example it will be a newspaper about my channel so uh, i will go and uh, type tutorial channel something like that and i do not like the font of this text and i'll also change the font from Safira March the, right here to some other font so for example i will go with this font uh, then I can close and it looks a little bit small. I can increase the size, increasing the font size, clicking on the plus button right here, something like that. And I can also change the fold of this volume one text also and increase the font. Yeah, something like that. And on the blog, uh, basically the title of this newspaper must be changed also. So it would be just the name of my channel. Uh, I can also change the font and increase it as I want. Moreover, you can add some effects to the text. So clicking on the FX button, you can add some effects. So hollow, uh, outline, everything you want. I will go with the shadow. Uh, I will also increase the font once again because I want it to be bigger. And here basically the photos. Um, photos of course does not match this photo does not match the topic of our newspaper so i'll change the photos simply click on the photo and click on the delete button and now we need to change the photo so go to the elements in the left side menu and search for some elements uh, you'd like to be in the photo so i will go with the education so i'll search for some education and expand the photos clicking on the see all button right here so here i'll have some free and pro photos if i see the crown it means that this photo is pro version for pro version so i'll go with some uh free photos i will just go with the this photo right here i need to simply drag it to my workplace and it will be automatically changed so as you can see we changed the photo successfully <clears throat> and 
uh, here I can also change the text. So uh, what description. So for example, it would be simply description, description of my channel, change the font. Uh, I can also change the text color if I want. So for example, uh, set it to something like that. Go and change the second uh, picture also. So I'll go with the uh, with this books um, books photo. And if you want to change the entire description, you can just simply use ChatGPT for this uh, uh, problem. You can send simply send to him uh, write a short description for the tutorial channel, and you can type uh, here and paste what he uh, typed to you. But I'll just uh, uh, type something like that, tutorial channel. Yeah, it should be bigger, of course, uh, but we will leave it like that. So here, basically, read more in our blog and our link. So I'll change the link uh, to this website, to this website. So basically, go and paste your username. And I will add some elements that um, shows. I'll, get, I'll just simply... Uh, drag these elements to the app because I need space for some elements that will uh, show that this channel is on YouTube. So basically, I'll go to the elements once again. And here I need to search for some YouTube logo because I want to add some YouTube logo. Uh, go and find some YouTube icon. Yeah, for example. And here you can uh, search uh, and find in the graphics some YouTube icon, what you like. So in my case, uh, it will be some in gray color. So I'll go with the, this one. And now I need to drag it, make it a little bit smaller, dragging on the uh, right on the corner and place. I'll place it somewhere right here. So yeah, if you have more social networks, you can add more uh, icons of the social networks in the bottom. So for example, I'll go and add uh, some X icon, for example, yeah. Uh, I don't know, the free one is this, so I'll go with the free one and place it somewhere right here. When you are ready creating your newspaper, for example, this is the first uh, page of the newspaper, you can add some more pages, clicking on add page. Here basically you can duplicate the page and start changing the second page. So it will be not volume one, it will be volume two or page two, whatever you like and change the second uh, page of your newspaper when you are ready uh, with uh, your newspaper you want to download it so click on the share button in the top right corner and you'll have this interface so go and click on download and here you will have a uh, uh, file type you need to select the file type of course i'll go with a png uh, size every every single uh, option you can change here select the pages that you want to download also i want to download only the first and the second pages and then click on the download button and your newspaper will be downloaded successfully and basically that is it that is how we can download or create a newspaper on canva if you found this video useful leave a like and subscribe to the channel thank you